The patient is a 61 year old woman with a cortisol producing right adrenal tumor causing subclinical Cushing syndrome. Patients with subclinical Cushing syndrome have too much cortisol and can, can suffer from many signs and symptoms. Heartburn, heart palpitation, muscle weakness, decreased sex drive, difficulty concentrating, anxiety, problems with memory are common symptoms of Cushing syndrome. Patients can also gain weight and develop diabetes. Easy bruising, poor wound healing, hair loss and sleep apnea are other symptoms associated with too much cortisol. The tricky thing with subclinical Cushing syndrome is that the symptoms often sneak up on the patients over months to years. Many patients don't even realize how bad they feel because they attribute their symptoms to getting older. Sometimes they don't, know, they don't even realize how bad they have been feeling for several years until the adrenal tumor is removed. This patient had an incidentally identified adrenal tumor on a CT scan that was performed for other reasons. Fortunately, her doctors did not ignore her tumor. They ordered the appropriate lab test. Her ACTH level, which is the pituitary hormone, was low and then her cortisol level after a low dose dexamethasone suppression test was high meaning it was greater than 1.8 that together with a tumor on the ct scan proves adrenal subclinical cushing syndrome the patient had a mini back scope adrenalectomy on the right side and did very well she did not require any steroids after the operation Six weeks later, the patient contacted me and said she felt better than she had in decades. Her energy level improved, the brain fog was gone. She had already lost seven pounds and her blood sugars normalized to the point where she was no longer pre-diabetic. She was thrilled to get rid of all the toxic effects from too much cortisol. This shows the right adrenal tumor with the yellow arrow of the patient that has a cortisol producing right adrenal tumor. The left adrenal gland is completely normal.